Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. Hello, I'm Jeff Moss, and welcome to All the Right Moves. Will Rogers was right when he said that, years before I was born. And he shouldn't be confused with Roy Rogers, or for that matter, Kenny Rogers. Though Kenny did say, know when to hold them. In this month's market update, we're going to discuss the current status of the local real estate market. We'll cover the stats and the perspective from the so-called experts. Then I'll give you my opinion based on my boots on the ground, word on the street info I've seen and heard while selling homes every day. There have been a few changes in the amount of inventory we've seen on the market and for the good. Inventory means the number of homes on the market. It is the supply side of supply and demand. We have seen more homes hit the market lately, changing the trend of an increasing seller's market. According to this guy, George Ratatouille, or something like that, a senior economist at Realtor.com, the improvement we saw in new listings growth from May to June shows sellers are entering the market historically later in the season which could mean we'll see home buying continue into the fall as buyers jump at new opportunities. The experts are saying the supply is improving and this will make the buying process easier. But what do the buyers think? Buyers are still excited about the market based on data from Zellman's June broker report. The buyer demand rating sits at 86, which is out of 100, and that's down slightly from 88 last month. There is some concern about the bubble, which we talked about a few months ago. Due to this crazy spike in homes in the last six to nine months, many buyers have decided to wait on the market. Those waiting on the market may have to wait longer, according to a JP Morgan analyst. Home buyers, interest rates are still historically low, though they are inching up. Home prices have spiked during the last six to nine months, but we do not expect them to fall soon, and we believe they are more likely to keep rising. If you are looking to purchase a new home, conditions now may be better than in 12 months hence. Those are the views of the experts. Now here's my opinion. As buyers feel the fatigue of putting in offer after offer without any success, some will give up and wait. The increase in supply will counter the lack of success. And more homes and less buyers will level the odds for most buyers trying to buy a home and it still won't be easy, and the competition will be tough, but it will get easier. A few months ago, I'd get 20 offers on my listings. Now I only get 10 to 15. For example, I had a beautiful two-bedroom home in Riverside listed at 440,000. I received an offer for $15,000 over asking price before anybody even saw it, and I was able to get more offers, and the price kept going up. I won't reveal the sales price, but it was well above the first offer price. It's been like that for months, and it does not matter if there are 50 offers or 15, competition will push up the prices. When will it stop? Since my crystal ball's in the shop, I'll just have to wing it. My guess is no time soon. I think we have a few more months of this until inventory really causes it to change. Will that cause a crash? I don't think so it'll cause the slowdown of the jumping list prices. What happens now is a person decides to sell their home. A neighbor with an identical home just sold for $450,000. And the person says, well then, I can get $475,000. In a normal market, that makes no sense. When things adjust, we're going to see that home put on the market for less than $475,000. It won't crash, it'll just slow down. And how do I know there won't be a crash? Check out this chart. People who refinance took out very limited money when compared to 2005 to 2007. The fact so many people have equity means not as many homes will be upside down. And people will just sit and wait until things settle down, just like last summer during COVID. One factor in this that we didn't discuss, COVID cases are on the rise. What factor will that play and is it temporary? That's a good question. And on that lack of ineptitude note, that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. 
We'll see you next time on All the Right Moves with Jeff Moss.